Speaker. Question number 12, Matiria Ture. Tēnāku, Mr Speaker. Tēnāku, Mr Speaker. Uh, my question is to the Minister of Conservation. I hia a tātou momo manu kei te noho tino mōria rea e ai ki te kaitiaki taiao o te whare pārimata. Mr Speaker. The Honourable Maggie Barry. Tolu for lava, Mr Speaker. I welcome Dr Jan Wright's report, which has identified 54 species as being in serious trouble. That's of birds. Uh, that's broadly consistent, actually, with Doc's own assessment as released in the Threatened Species Strategy two weeks ago. The government is under no illusions whatsoever about the danger our native birds are in. That's why we've committed to predator-free 2050. That's why we have set up a board that has a plan to enact it. It's why we've spent $45 million on the battle for our birds in the last two years and the war on weeds and wilding pines. There is, Mr Speaker, more conservation work being done in New Zealand today than at any other time in New Zealand's history. Supplementary question, Materia Ture. Why has her government cut DOCS funding in real terms by $422 million since 2009, when the PCE, Parliamentary Commissioner for the Environment, has now described the situation with our native birds as desperate. Mr Speaker. The Honourable Maggie Barry. I agree with Dr Jan Wright that we have a serious situation with our threatened species and that we need to do something about it. That is why DOC has moved so quickly into the space of appointing somebody who at a senior leadership team will have responsibility for biodiversity. This is an important thing to all of New Zealanders and as Dr Wright pointed out in her budget, it is not something that one department can do alone. The member remains and is, and is at least consistent in this, completely wrong in the idea that DOCS spending has not increased. It has. $107 million in this year's budget is not a decrease by anybody's standards. There has in fact been a 20% increase in government investment in DOC since 2008 when we came into government. Supplementary question, Materia Ture. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Given her decision to cut DOCS funding, will she... I know you don't agree. Look at your numbers. Order. Allow the member to complete the question. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Given her decision to cut DOCS funding, will she also accept responsibility for the extinction of the tōroa, our wandering albatross, given the Parliamentary Commissioners for the Environment's latest report, which describes this great bird as being in serious trouble and at risk of, of extinction. Mr the Speaker. Honourable Maggie Barry. I guess because the member has never been anywhere near government, she doesn't understand very much about the budget process. The, as the increase in spending in DOC is at $107 million this year. It has been a 20% increase uh, since 2008. Uh, the member's willful misrepresentation of the figures is pretty pathetic, even by that member's standards. So when we look at the birds that are in danger, the FIO, for example, has had a 48% increase in bird numbers in the Kahurangi National Park alone. Those were figures that were released today. That's because of predator-scale biodiversity protection by DOC. Tāpiri. Supplementary question, Materia Ture. Does the Minister accept that her and her government have failed New Zealanders and the Kākāpō when the, when the Parliamentary Commissioner for the Environment finds, and I quote, to say we have brought the Kākāpō back from the brink of extinction is not correct, rather it continues to teeter on the brink of extinction, end quote. The Honourable Maggie Barry. Mr Speaker, this government and the Department of Conservation has worked tirelessly on the recovery of Kākāpō. Right. I feel that the uh, work of Dr Andrew Digby and the Kākāpō recovery team has been overshadowed by some of the misunderstandings that that member is helping push out there. Sure, the Kākāpō is a species that is in grave danger. It is one that we've put a great deal of resources into. And there may well be a time when genetic diversity uh, with that particular breed uh, does 
does need another level of action. But at the moment, the results speak for themselves, and we have greatly increased the number of kākāpō in New Zealand that are breeding to a high level. Genetic diversity and the size of a gene pool of such a critically endangered bird is a problem, and it's one that we all need to grapple with. And we have scientists on it and Predator Free 2050 and their board who've just received a report on this. What a good answer. What a note. Order. Is the member seeking a further supplement? No, the Greens have used their full allocation for the day. Is this a point of order? Yeah, point of order, sir. As point I understand, the allocation was 5-4. Will be so, worthwhile checking? Yeah, there were six used in the first. Okay. The mem well, my recording shows six, but on the basis that Mr Shaw's indicating there weren't, it is hard for me to keep a tally, and oh, the Greens are uh, normally very accurate there at counting. I'm going to accept that there is room for one more oh, supplementary question. Okay. Supplementary you, question, Matelia Toure. Yeah, we're good at maths. Turns out but, we're good at maths. But I'll be checking my maths later. <laughs> supplementary question, Matelia Toure. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Does the Minister accept that her and her government have failed the Department of Conservation and our conservation estate when the Parliamentary Commissioner for the Environment has revealed today that Quote, one in every three of our native birds is not far off from following the moor and many others into extinction. The situation is desperate. The, the Honourable Maggie Barry. It would appear to me that the member has just recently caught up with what most of us have known and understood for more than a decade, and that is that our vulnerable, threatened bird species are under threat. As I said in my first response, the New, the New Zealand Threatened Species Strategy, the first one that has ever been released in New Zealand, has detailed pretty much the same things that the Parliamentary Commissioner for the Environment has detailed. So we are very aware, we have put a great deal of resources into this and a great deal of thought. The Predator Free New Zealand 2050 board has met four times. They are about to announce their chief executive and the plan is well underway. Threatened species are a concern to all of us on this side of the House and the unknowing ignorant stance from that member is woeful. I'd check your maths Order. if I were you. Yeah. And that concludes questions for our answer. I call on Government Order of the Day number one. Adjourn debate on the second reading of the appropriation.